It's now a story you'll see only on Eyewitness News. Tonight, we're giving you a unique look at the work the Coast Guard does to train its officers. Eyewitness News reporter Seth Machado geared up and headed out on the high seas today to show you the dangers they face to keep you safe on the water. Today, Coast Guard crews from Newport and Cape Cod trained on how to rescue mariners in distress. A helicopter hovered above. Oh, this is the Coast Guard 45620. Coast Guard officers on the boat below. A guardsman propelled down onto the deck. It's to simulate if we are using a helicopter to take someone off of or put someone onto a, uh, a boat. The weather seemed perfect. Winds are uh, probably a two. But the Coast Guard officers tell me there are still lingering effects on the water from Joaquin. For the next couple of days, there will still be long period swell from Hurricane Joaquin. Um, arriving. The guardsmen Three trained for situations where a boater order. might get hurt in a storm and need to be airlifted from the water or need equipment brought to them on the sea. Third class petty officer Ross Rudell says this time of year is when the Coast Guard gets the most calls. Right now we're in kind of that transitional period. It's getting towards the end of hurricane season and the start of nor'easter season. This is when the storms happen. This is when people get into really serious trouble out in very precarious situations. The Coast Guard urges boaters to wear life jackets, have a radio, not just a cell phone, and an emergent suit in case you have to jump into the chilly water. There's always inherent danger in the ocean. As always, if you're going out on a boat, you're encouraged to check with the Coast Guard and the National Weather Service for conditions. Reporting off the coast of Newport with the East Bay Mobile Newsroom, Steph Machado, Eyewitness News.